Hi everyone, this is Eve outside of 100 Christina Street for Local and here today we have Angela Sunby, an artist and photographer here in Sarnia. Angela, can you please uh, give us a brief history of how you became a photographer and an artist? Well, my dad has had a passion for photography. Growing up, he always had the camera out and he passed away when I was 17. And I got all of his camera gear and dove into it and I loved it and I was always the person with the camera. And then I got really interested in weird <laughs> uh, light and dark shadows and lights and contrasts, and that's my favorite thing. And bugs, I love bugs. <laughs> um, and then I just kind of, people started saying, oh, you should do that for money, you're so good at it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do that for work. And in my free time, I still play in the lights and shadows, and it's still my favorite thing. And I, I've been... Um, I've been doing it for a living here in Sarnia for about two years. Um, this year is the first year people know who I am. <laughs> and this is the first time I've ever submitted to an artistic venue. So I'm super excited about that. So how, so is there a lot of nerves around that? Oh, I had butterflies and hippopotamuses all over my stomach all night. <laughs> because this is the first time I've taken my work to somebody else to show it to me. So yeah, there's a lot of nerves, but a lot of excitement. Oh, wonderful. Um, what kind of uh, you know gear are you working with now? You said you started off with your father's mm -hmm. gear in the past. Is there it's new my... stuff now that you're working with? Oh yeah, my dad. Um, I started with a Canon film camera um, and all of the fancy lenses and filters, and I didn't know what any of it was when he gave it to me. Um, now I'm still working with Canon, a 6D, and uh, my favorite lens is the 85 millimeter Sigma. So pretty. Uh, um, yeah, I'm a canon girl. <laughs> so, what are you currently sort of working on? What's your inspiration as of right now in your work? Uh, right now, I'm really obsessed with dramatic lighting. It, it's um, I've been doing a, like a mentorship with Amber Provisani, who's just super cool, and I love her. Um, and she does a lot of fun stuff with light, and, yeah, creative blurs, and. So um, I've been working on that. She does workshops and, and e-books. Um, <laughs> that's kind of my That's kind of your focus right, right now. now. Yeah. So Angela, how did you first hear about local? Um, actually, I'm friends with a lot of the local photographers um, in Sarnia. I try to befriend them because we have the same interests. And it popped up in my Facebook feed. <laughs> um, so I joined the Facebook, I think it's a group or page, and I followed it right up until the last day to submit <laughs> when um, one of the curators, Melissa, had posted in a local photographer's group, you guys should really submit, we don't have a lot of local photographers submitting, and I'm like, the last minute of the last hour, I'm just going to send some stuff. <laughs> so how many pieces did you submit? Ten. The limit, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and did all ten get into the show? No, two. Two. That's um, wonderful, though. Yeah. I, I, tried to, I tried to I to pick my favorites yeah. because I didn't know what you were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, I was really excited. I didn't. I honestly didn't expect anything to be selected. I just wanted to push myself to submit to a local show. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out really well. It did. <laughs> so are you really excited for the event? I'm really excited, yes, because I love the creative community here in Sarnia. It, there is so much artistic talent everywhere you go and to show it all off in one place I think is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much Angela for your time and we can't wait to see your work. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks you too.